No macroeconomic policy is a panacea. As you will learn over the course of the ALA Econs, the interconnectedness of the macroeconomy means that there will inevitably be trade-offs between macroeconomic goals for every policy. And some of these conflicts have already been covered in previous lessons. In the short term, for example, using exchange rate policy to improve BOP will lead to a worsening of the current account in the BOP, ceteris paribus, which is known as the J-curve effect. Another trade-off was also mentioned in the previous lesson. In order to control inflation using exchange rate policy, we need to appreciate the currency, which causes export competitiveness and leads to a fall in aggregate demand and national income via the multiplier process. This causes the economy to contract, which can worsen unemployment and slow economic growth. Hence, policymakers need to weigh the benefits of inflation reduction against the cost of a loss in output. Other than its conflict with other macro goals, another limitation of exchange rate policy is the time lag. Government will never be a synonym for efficiency, and as in any bureaucratic office, there will be some kind of recognition, implementation, and impact lag. You should be wary, however, of using this limitation in an exam, since all government policies will have this limitation, which diminishes the value of such an evaluation. Hence, in order to gain more credit, you might mention that of all the macroeconomic policies in the syllabus, monetary policy, which includes both traditional and exchange rate policy, tends to have the least time lag. This is because the central bank or monetary authority of a nation typically acts independently, meaning it doesn't need legislative or executive approval to act, unlike the case in fiscal and supply-side policy. Lastly, a limitation specific to exchange rate policy is that it is highly dependent on the availability of foreign reserves. Should a country run out of foreign currency, it will lose its ability to support the external value of its currency. Speculators anticipating this are likely to sell off this currency in the, in the present, causing a large depreci depreciation in its value. A final note on monetary policy in general. It is important to understand that monetary policy does not work alone in the real world, whereas less effective prudent fiscal or supply-side policies can make up for it. In exams, you might get some credit for linking this to what we call the timbergen thiel theory of economic policy, which states that one policy instrument should be optimally used to achieve one macro aim at one time. If the economy wishes to achieve multiple macro goals at the same time, it should employ as many policy tools.